Here he is. A true, hold on. This, inter, uh, introduce you again. You've seen him in some of my videos. A true man of God heading back down to South America. A humble man uh, heading back down to South America. Uh, does a mission work perfectly. Cuts out all the, all the frivolity and just preaches the word. Uh, bare bones budget. Here he is, Jesse Boyd. And uh, Jesse, tell me, tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing down there. I like to go to places like South America because America is wicked. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to be targeting Israeli backpackers. Oh, uh, just, one, just one second. Let me just get a couple seconds in. Israeli backpackers, after they get out of the military in Israel, they love to go to South America and trek and backpack all over the Andes. And so we're going to follow them around in the Waiwash Andes. And uh, I love Jewish evangel evangelism. Those young people will sit and talk to you. Yeah. And when they hear how much you love Jewish people and you love the heritage that gave this world the Word of God, and when they hear that you're there to preach to them the God of Israel, they're a little more open. They don't act so much like these hoodlums here in America. So. <laughs> Bring them to Yeshua HaMashiach. So uh, it's a blessing. So just getting the, the vo vocal cords warmed up out here a little bit tonight. Amen, amen. I'm going to start speaking in Spanish next and week. And what's your so. name again, sir? Daniel. Daniel, tell me a little bit about what, what you're going to be doing. You you traveling around too? Or? Uh, I am not going to South America, but uh, I will be here uh, hopefully representing New Testament Christian Fellowship Church. And... Um, Hopefully, still coming out on the streets to more Hickory Lives. And, oh, you uh, live here? You live here? Yeah, I okay, live right here in, in Hickory, in the Hickory area. So, hopefully, be coming out representing the church a little bit more, and uh, hopefully, be able to hook up with Full Proof Gospel Ministries in the future, and Amen. continue preaching the word. Amen. Amen. So, each and every person out here will face the judgment of God. Each and every person out here will one day have to stand before God and give an account for it all. Are you ready? Because there's only one of two things that God will say to each person. If you have turned from your sin, if you have turned away from your sin and trusted alone in Jesus Christ for your salvation, endured to the end that His words will be well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter into thy rest. That's the good news. But if you take your last breath as an unrepentant sinner, then His words to you will be, Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Can you imagine? Especially all the people that sit in the pew every Sunday, but go out and live wickedly Monday through Saturday. All of you pew-sitting church hypocrites who are sitting like every other heathen out there, you will stand before God thinking you're just fine with Him. And the first words that Jesus will say to you when you see Him face to face are, depart from me, I never knew you. And the Bible says that His angels will bind you hand and foot, cast you into a lake of fire. There's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Our God is known by the judgment that He executes. That's how we know how great and mighty and holy our God is because of His great and mighty and holy judgment. His judgment will be severe. But the good news is God does not take pleasure in the destruction of the wicked because they would turn and live. Who's ready to turn? Do we have, who do we, so I know who my crowd is, do we have any Bible-believing, Bible-obeying, born-again Christians out here on the street? Show of hands. Any Bible-believing, Bible-obeying, born-again Christians? Anyone? I'll assume your hand would go up. Any Bible-believing, Bible-obeying, born-again Christians out here on the street? Anyone proud? Anyone proud to be a Christian? Now remember, Jesus, you're a Christian, my friend. Remember, Jesus said that if you are ashamed of Him before men, He will be ashamed of you before His Father. So I'm going to assume that I, we have very few born-again Christians out here because I didn't only saw one hand go up that they were proud to be a Christian. So we have come to the right place. The Bible says, call upon the Lord while He is near. Seek the Lord.
word while he may be found. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man of God to return to the Lord, for he is rich in mercy. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So we'll give you an opportunity here. Is there anyone out there who is currently a sinner? that is willing to forsake their wicked ways, turn from their sin, and trust alone in Jesus Christ for salvation. Is there anyone? Do we have anyone out there who is currently a sinner, who values their own soul enough that they would turn from their wicked ways and trust alone in the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the Avenger? The Avenger, are you ready? Is the Avenger ready to turn from sin and trust in Christ? Are you ladies ready? There's coming a day when God will judge the world in righteousness. Are you ready? Are you ready? We're having an altar call. We're having an altar call. The altar call. First altar call of the night. It, who is ready to turn from their wicked ways and trust alone in Christ? I warn you that if a drunk driver takes your life this night, if a drunk driver takes Makes your night this life, that life this night, and God sent God down with a banner and shouted that you should turn. God's judgment upon you will be severe because you are without excuse. Satan nine said, "Ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. The spirit of God dwells in you." Now, if any man have not the spirit of Jesus Christ. He is none of his. Lord God, what that mean? It's him. Lord God, you've got God to have God living inside of you. There has to be a metamorphosis that done happened, done took place. It was more than just one little five second prayer that you said at some vacation Bible school. Lord God, hallelujah, there's got to be a change. He said, we become a new creature in Jesus Christ. You know what's wrong? We got so many saints, oh, so-called saints, so many so-called Christians out here, they didn't have no change in their life, glory to God. Let me tell you, you ain't, there ain't been no conviction, there ain't been no conversion. Come on now, and I would tell you why people don't come to Christ, because we got too many backslidden Christians walking around here acting like it's all right to drink, it's all right to curse, it's all right to smoke. It's all right to drug. It's all right to fornicate. It's all right to adulterize. You know what? All these things will take you to hell. Lord God. Paul said it like this. Everyone that named that name, speaking of Jesus Christ, depart from iniquity. That word iniquity is a fancy word for sin. Come on now. It's been born in you. Come on. We got to get walk away from this world. We got to put away the world, glory to God. Hallelujah. You know what? We got to be Christ like. Well, let's look at his life. Hallelujah. He was conceived by the Spirit. He was baptized. He was full of the Holy Ghost. He prayed. He fasted. And he was obedient unto death. That's what's what was wrong with most of y'all. Glory to God. It's disobedient. Disobedient to your parents, disobedient to God, and disobedient to His Word. And guess what? Just say like this. If you broke the law at one point, you're guilty of all. This is why we need a Savior. This is why you need a Savior today. Glory to God. Because we've all fallen short of the glory of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah.